Hello, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I am not at all fine. Actually this is not my case. I am here to ask you regarding my child's condition. I am waiting here for one hour and none of the doctors turned up. Okay, I am really sorry. How can I address you? My name is John. Okay John, I really understand your situation. If you had got good understanding of this situation, might have asked a doctor to come. Yes, John, what I am trying to say that your child is stable at the moment. No. How did you say that he is stable? I can see he is finding really difficult to breath. He is wheezing there. So how can you say that he is stable? Yes. Actually what's happened is, in the emergency department the doctors and nurses has been really busy. They've been handling other situation. That mean you are saying that you don't have enough staff to handle this situation? No, we do. What I am coming to tell you, we looked into your child's condition. No. No one has come to me so far. So how can you say that, you looked into my child's matter? What I am trying to say you that, we have already assigned the doctor. He will come to your child shortly and will be looking into your child's condition. We are actually accessing the previous medical history of your child and we are going through what we can do. You know, my child has stopped here for more than one hour. I am really sorry to hear that John. But we are doing everything we can. You don't have to worry and you don't have to be panic about this situation. We will try all our best to give proper medication and care. Okay. Before moving further, I just need to know is there any previous medical history? No. I think this is the first time I am seeing my child like this. So you're telling me your child has never had any breathing issue, wheezing? No sister. Has your child got any sort of allergy that you are unaware? For example dust allergy like that. 
No. Bulky. But currently he is having, as I told you. Chest tightness, wheezing and breathing trouble too. Was he exposed to any cold weather or he consumes any cold items? No. Nothing like that. We are doing everything possible at this moment. We have looked into the condition. As I mentioned you the condition now. I think my child is having asthma. What do you think nurse? Am I correct? Just only looking at the symptoms that you mentioned like chest tightness, breathing difficulty, we cannot just jump into the conclusion that your child is suffering from asthma. But you may seen and come across a lot of situation like these in this hospital, so you can understand it right. That's why I want to know the medical history. We cannot just jump into the conclusion that your child is suffering from asthma. Because you said this was the first time it has happened and also there are not any types of dust allergy. So I am not really sure. But I am sending a sure doctor to your child in a complete assessment. We need to run few scans. Look, we have lost a lot of time. I want a doctor to here right now. Sure. Definitely, we have someone assigned for your child. We had to run few scan. Why he still not come here? What's happening? I understand your concern. We need to run few scan and also take some blood samples because we need to see what's exactly going on. We can't just jump into the conclusion. As I mentioned, we need to access the situation, that's what I am trying to do. Don't worry about your child's condition. I assure you that your child will be absolutely fine. We will just run through few scan and some diagnosis and just to see your child is doing everything okay. So what are you going to do now? We have already assigned the doctor. And he will come for your child's care shortly and he is going to run through all the scans. Please don't waste more time. I am really sorry, we already doing it and we just check your child vital signs, everything going fine. You need to just calm down. Till the doctor come. I cannot do that. Doctor will arrive shortly. Please understand the situation. It's an emergency department. But let me reassure you that your child's situation will be fine and everything will be okay. As I mentioned, I just access the scan and the blood samples. Once that is done, the doctor can give the proper medication and would recommend what needs to be done and moving forward. Okay. Thank you, nurse. Okay. That's all right. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.